and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be do I'll be doing a review of the all pressing add-on. Processing add-on, not pressing. Where are you going? What are you doing, girl? Hey? Eh? This will probably So this will probably be Pop up uh, be a Yes, hello. So this will probably be a shorter video because, yeah, I think it is um, like uh, a very basic like. Is that to explain? But from like what I saw, it's just like I'll probably just be like taking a look at a few recipes and showing them what the machine does, and telling you whether I think it's uh, OP or not. Uh, from my uh, from what I've seen on the thing, it could be OP, but. There, I have a few things I can see them doing get to keep it balanced, um, and I'll go into that once we get into the review. Here we are. Oh, and my friends remind me to do a thing. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I'm just gonna dump the my inventory in there because that's just. Left over from last review that I oh, forgot to sort my inventory out. Here we have the ore processing guidebook. Thanks for checking out ore processing by Team Metallurgy. Press the button below to find out more. So we have how to use chain. Yeah, vision. Yeah, I was going to say that it's not received an update, and then you can contact them on Discord, Twitter, and YouTube. Um. I might actually check out the Discord after this video. How to use. What is all processing? Oh, and while I'm talking about Discord, Discord link down in the description. Uh, you can join my Discord. I can talk about things. You can uh, like DM me if you have questions or anything. Or you can put, post like uh, video requests and stuff. Uh, anyway, all processing is an add-on that introduces, uh, ways, introduces ways to get more out of your ore. That vibes more out of your ore. How would you use it? First, you need a silk touch pickaxe, then craft yourself an ore crusher. And then place the ore block of your choice on top of it, and then watch as it crushes it into more viable ore rubble block. What ore blocks are compatible with ore processing? You can process iron, gold, copper, lapis lazuli, that's a bit hard to read. Uh, redstone, coal, diamond, never quartz, and even ancient debris. This also works for any variant such as never gold or deep slate. Uh, what do I do? You can smell the ore wobble uh, block now for twice as many ingots as normal, or you could uh, build extra machinery that uh, each makes it more valuable. Try out the ore sifter, ore crystallizer, ore refinery. Is there an ore do I use it? Yeah, so we want an ore, so we want ore crusher, we want a crusher, sifter, crystallizer, refinery, and then a, 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 re, a creator. So, oh, I've, I've already forgotten, like, the first one. So, crush, crusher, sifter, hold on, I'm just going to use snipping tool to take a screenshot of this. So, crusher, so let's do the crusher first. Actually, I could just put it in the crafting table. Am I in survival? Yes, I am. Uh, or... So, first we need the crusher, which is four cobblestone, a diamond, a furnace, two pistons, and an iron ingot. So, diamond, iron... Four cobbler. One, two, three, four. Two pistons. And a furnace, which is eight cobbler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll give you the ore crusher. And I'm just going to put this here. 
So if I, I'm just going to go into game mode one real quick and grab one of each or make sure they all work. And game mode zero. So you place the block above it and it makes it into that block. So it makes it into a rubble block. So a limitation of this is yeah, you can only do like one at a time. Oh, I lasted all the way through the wall. Did not mean to do that. So. That is one way that they have like made this a bit more balanced. It's, you know, not super OP. It's just because you can't really automate this to much extent. Like you can have like, uh, pistons. Like in other items, there are block places. So you could, and block breakers. So you could do something with that maybe. So you got I, I know, um, they really do just have to stand here. And you, at least you can punch it, so you can just uh, have a macro set up to right click, left hold left click, and just convert all of this or into uh, the first variant. So yeah, that's actually uh, quite good at them to do with that. Yeah. Uh, and let's just take a look at all the other walls as well. So as iron, let's do deep slate iron. Deep slate iron works, and it is a separate one. So this is iron deep slate rubble. This is iron rubble. Uh, then we have let's do the two diamonds. So you have diamond rubble and deep slate diamond rubble. Uh, lapis and where's deep slate lapis? Uh, gold, deep sleep gold, and then we'll do never gold. The deep sleep gold, regular gold, and uh, never gold. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna drop them over there. I go make a bit more room in my inventory. Then we have redstone. I like the redstone. Uh, we will be taking a look at all the uh, 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 blocks in a moment. Just gonna get one. Just gonna get one of each of them real quick. Then we have coal and deep slate coal. Control Q. Then we have Emerald and Deep Slate Emerald. Then we have Never Quartz. Why not? Let's just do Never Quartz real quick on its own. Then we'll just have Copper and Deep Slate Copper. And I've got to check out Deep Slate Lapis. That's never quartz. And copper. And deep sleep copper. So let's go to. So I'm going to go up here. And the. 
Oh yeah, previous review. Forgot about that. I'm gonna go over here. I need to clean up this area a bit because there's just stuff left over here and there. Like that. Um so let's do diamond first. So I got uh diamond. So let's do deep slate on the bottom. Then regular above it. So I got deep slate lapis and regular lapis. Deep slate redstone and regular redstone. I uh, got coal, deep slate coal and regular coal. Ah, uh, poop. Deep slate and regular. And we have the iron rubble. I'm just going to queue them over there. Then we have copper, deep slate, and regular copper. Then emerald. So I'll cut the yeah, map. Emerald, emerald. Then we have uh, Deep Slate, we have Regular, and then we have Never Gold. Deep Slate, Regular, Never. And then just Never Quartz on the end. Yeah, I do like these blocks. They do look like um, if you did just like crush the ore down into like uh, chunks, you know, smaller chunks. I could probably use this in uh, some sort of builds. I'm not really a builder, so I can't really think of anything you'd use this in. The donkey seems to like him. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a minute to, uh, with the next machine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Silly me, I forgot about ancient debris. Uh, here's the ancient debris rubble. It's called Ancient Neverack Rubble. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back again in a minute. Next up is the Ore Sifter, which is crafted with four planks, two pistons, a diamond, a furnace, and a phantom membrane. Um, and this will turn your rubble into something else. So let's start with diamonds. So we got deep slate diamond and the regular diamond. They both get turned into diamond chunks. We got redstone. Which get gets turned into redstone chunks, copper, which get you know, copper chunks. At least I might have to get to the deep slate and regular variants for the chunks after I place. Well, actually, I can just place one there. Yeah. yeah. And then you have never quartz, which will turn into never quartz chunk. I, I broke that literally like probably like the nanosecond it turned so you have deep slate regular and neverack all get turned into gold chunks and you have Asian debris You have the two emeralds. And the two coals. Oh, that's quite like the coal chunk one. A bit like the uh, concrete one. 
but with like more uh, texture, I think is the right word. Anyway, so let like diamond, lapis, redstone, diamond, lapis, redstone, diamond, lapis, redstone. And it's coal, iron, copper. Coal, iron, copper. Coal, iron, copper. And then it's emerald and gold. Emerald, gold. Emerald. Gold. And then never quartz and ancient debris. I'll move that one, put that there, put that there, and put that there. Yeah. These look decent. Yeah, I could definitely see these bit definitely be like being used in uh, some sort of build. Uh, so, yeah, the coal. I do like the coal one because, like I said, it's a, it, it. This will go well, like well with like if you've got like a black concrete building, but you want to make it look aged and weathered. So you like mix this in with the uh, black concrete, and I could definitely see that working well there for uh, that scenario. Um, I don't know if that any of the others would work with concrete because, uh, well, uh, the never course one would. Probably almost definitely work with the never court with a never course version. Um, yeah. Uh, let I'm gonna go move, get the next machine. Uh, in a moment, I'll be right back. All right, so the next machine is the crystallizer, which requires a diamond, four never brick, two pistons, a furnace, and a blaze rod. And this will turn your chunks into shards. So let's get all these converted into shards. I like the noise it makes as well, the uh, the amethyst sound. It's nice. Do. And just that one. And now just the Asian chunk to do. Looks more like Asian debris now. So if I can get out the door, there we go. So, oh, it would help if I didn't fall off. There we go, one, two, three, so. Got diamond, lapis, redstone. One, two, three. Coal, iron, copper. Redstone, gold, and never quartz. And uh, not redstone, uh, emerald, gold, and never quartz. And the Asian little shard. Yeah, this this does look more like uh, Asian debris than the others do. Yeah, three is pretty cool. Um, 
uh. texture. I do like it. It is the same, like, yeah, it does appear to be the same texture, just like copied and pasted with like the colors changed. Depending on the art. It is a cool texture. I do like it. Yeah. I've got um, a Pop Tart here that uh, I'm going to eat after this. And Lily's after it. So like, give me the foods! Anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the next uh, machine. Right, and next up is the All Refiner, which requires an Echo Shard, four Deep Slate, uh, and Pistons and Diamond. So, you put your shards in here to get, ooh, really nice looking blocks, uh, the cores. This looks like a, a bit like like a um, chiseled or actually yeah, the, you know this looks this looks more like if you made like a uh, an diamond block, gold block, or redstone block, or whatever, and then chiseled it. Yeah, the never quartz just really looks like a never quartz block there. So let's do put these side by side with the others. One, two, three. One, two, oh. Diamond lapis redstone. Coal cop uh, coal iron copper. Emerald gold. Never quartz and ancient uh, core. Quartz and ancient. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, that. Right. Uh, oh, I forgot. Bah! Well, in fact, I forgot to talk about the texture. Yeah, I do. I do like the texture. I, oh, that's a fair bit of cobblestone. Uh, I think this chest might actually be full of cobblestone. It is. Wow. Yeah. Right, so this texture, I do like it. Like I said, it does look like uh, you know if you took the blocks and then chiseled them. Uh, yeah. It does look pretty cool, I do like it. I uh, could definitely use it in some builds that would look cool. Uh, so yeah. And then this is the last one. This. Oh, wait. We're right back, I need to actually get the crystals again. And on to the next item which is the ore creator. This will turn your cores into... Ooh, what's that called? It's called essence. I do like the textures. It reminds me of the uh, quartz pillar, the top of the quartz pillar. Yeah, very nice. And one last one. 
There we go. Let's go put these on the uh, wall of ores. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm. Emerald, gold, and quartz, and ancient. So yeah, like I said, it's, ba it, uh, it's basically the top of the uh, quartz pillar texture, which I do know what some people do like to use that texture, so you've got it in multiple colours now. So, now it's time for me to talk about the add-on in mode 1, and how, and if I think it's OP or not. So, let me just grab a hopper and a furnace real quick. And I'll just grab a Lava bucket. Lava. Lava bucket in there. So we don't need both of these for this point, but <coughs> no, Lily. <coughs> Why are you even with that? Not happy about something, that's for sure. So, for the first level, the uh, you know, rubble, that'll do that will uh, double the amount that you get, giving you two. Now, with something like iron, that's not really with like iron and diamonds and stuff, that's not very good because with fortune, you'll probably get with fortune three, you'll get more, but then with the second level, it'll give you four diamonds. The shards will give you eight diamonds. The cores will then the cores will give you well, what it just exchanges for whichever one uh, of the yours you want. The cores will give you sixteen diamonds, and the essences will give you thirty-two. Diamonds. Now, haven't seen the recipes. I do think this is a little bit OP. Um, a little bit. So, with like the lower levels, just getting like two or four per ore isn't really OP because you can probably you'll probably get more than that just using fortune on the ore. So, uh, it's not really that bad for the first couple of levels. Uh, but then you got like. Eight, which is uh, like fortune three, and then you got sixteen, which is way more than you'll ever get. Well, at least with diamonds and emeralds uh, from a single ore, and like thirty-two. Like, and let me just uh, see if this is the same uh, throughout. So let's just uh, so that's one, two, three. So that should give this should give eight of each. Now for iron and copper, it's really not that OP because it, you know you can get to, oh, you can get to more iron and copper just by you well, until you get to the thirty-two. You can probably get I think you can probably get that like sixteen with fortune three. Um, But uh, with the year, but with gold, it's uh, quite powerful because you don't get that much gold. Yeah, so even that, and it does change depending on what ore it is. So that gave twelve instead of eight. That gave twelve instead of eight. So it does change depending on the ore. Six instead of eight. That's actually less than the 
Oh wait, no, that's shard and that's chunk. Right. Shard, eight coal. Yeah, there's supposed to be shards and not chunk. I got the wrong gold. Uh, I think it's that one. Yeah, it's shard. Eight iron ingots. So you get eight, eight from eight diamonds, iron, never quartz, and coal, and copper. But twelve lapis and redstone dust. Eight gold. So it actually does seem like they have somewhat balanced it at least. You get eight scraps. How many emeralds? Oh, the game's not happy. There we go. Eight emeralds. Hmm. They have seemed to balance this quite well by the looks of it. Because you're not getting a ton of these resources. But that is just... But yeah. So, let me just uh, uh, make sure I'm properly informed right now. And I'm going to go to the Minecraft wiki. And I'm going to look up the drop or drop rate. So, Minecraft Wiki. Not the fandom wiki. The, re the normal, mi the new Minecraft wiki. So, let's go to Diamond Ore. So, Diamond Ore. So... Hardness, lunar transparency, from breaking. Um, two, two gets twenty five. Fortune three gives you a twenty percent chance uh, to get two, three, or four diamonds, averaging 2.22 diamonds per ore. So this is way better than fortune per ore. So the first one is basically a guaranteed fortune three. Uh, well, guaranteed minimum fortune three. So yeah, you could say it's like Fortune 2, well it's yeah, probably closer to Fortune 2, because Fortune 2 gives you a 25% chance to give 2 or 3. So, uh, it's, yeah, so the base one is uh, Fortune 2, but then it, uh, but then it, uh, like, skyrockets, because that's, that's, 4 is more than Fortune 3, 8 is like, double, is almost double the amount Fortune 3 could possibly give you, because Fortune 3's max is 4, yeah. The max is four, so four with fortune three. So, the second level is like max fortune that uh, max that fortune could possibly give you, and that's double max fortune, and that's quadruple max fortune, and that's I don't even know how much that is compared to fortune. So yeah, that's a, that's a bit OP because the earlier ones, if the earlier ones weren't actually that expensive. Uh, you could probably get the first two quite uh, easily. Uh, you do have to get diamonds in the first place, but still, you are, and you also do have to get silk touch. So, it, now you also do have to factor that in. But I think maybe the recipes could do with a bit of a change. So, let me just go to game mode zero so I can show you the crafting recipes once again. So, the first one, uh, hold on, can I just, yeah, uh, let me just go all the way down, I can probably just find them here. Yeah, so the first one, actually I'll just print all. 
So the first one was uh, the Ore Crusher. Now, I think this is fine. Like, maybe switch out the cobblestone for, like, stone. It, like, that's all I'd really change. Because that, that is fine. Because, like I said, it's only really giving you, um, like, basically Fortune 2. And Fortune 2 for a diamond is kind is fair in my opinion. Because you also do need silk touch as well, so I guess that's fine. Uh but then Then it was the sifter. Which uh, which all uh, which needs diamonds, wood plank. Right, so Bear in mind, this is two diamonds, basically fortune, guaranteed max fortune free. Um, so it's still a bit OP. I'll change the planks out for something a bit more difficult to get. Um, let me think, what would be suitable for this? So that may be like stone bricks. Hmm, no, that, even then that's still a bit cheap in my opinion. And what about... Um... How about... Iron ingots, maybe? For iron ingots? And then you could change the texture to look more like iron. Like it's made out of iron. I think having that made out of iron, having that choose iron ingots instead of oak planks would be better. And phantom membranes aren't too difficult to get because you just need to not sleep for a bit and then have to deal with the phantoms. If you have a shield, it's fairly easy. Uh, maybe it can be is more difficult on Bedrock than it is on Java. Uh, but not super difficult. But I think, yeah, just changing the pl oak planks to iron ingots uh, would be better. Then you have the crystallizer. Now, I would change the... I might change the Never Wicks out for... I, I would possibly change the Never Wicks out. Right, change the Blaze Rod for a Lava Bucket. Maybe. Yeah, change the Blaze, blaze Rod for a Lava Bucket. Maybe... I don't... Yeah, the Never Wicks seem to be fine. I think they're fine. Um, Or maybe... Hmm. The, the blocks seem to be like the casing. So, we had that. Maybe have that be gold. Four gold ingots. Uh, and then you can have like, have like a nice gold trim around it, make it look nice. Um, and then it was the refiner. Which, this is pretty good. I had to keep the Echo Shard, because you need to go to the Deep Dark it's a nation City for that. Uh, so you have to like contend with the warden. So this is pretty good. I would change the deep slate tile for something like deep slate brick or deep slate tile or something. Just not regular deep slate. Just add that tiny bit more uh, difficulty to get, I guess. And uh, then there was the accreator. Now. What I would change with this is I would swap out the obsidian because obsidian, especially if you're if you're in the end, because you need to get the uh, dragon's breath breath on the end. So obsidian's not going to be difficult to get in the end. You just mine one of the pillars. It's just time consuming. Well, I was thinking for this instead of obsidian, maybe use for shulker shells because bear in mind this will give you thirty two diamonds from one diamond ore. So I think four shulker shells is a fair price for that. Um, and it also means you you. Don't just have to be the end of dragon, you also have to go to the end cities and get the shulker shells from the shulkers in the end cities. Um, but yeah. Uh, although, I think if they did that, I think it would be pretty well balanced. That, like, uh, um, they'd be decently hard to get. You'd need silk touch, and it, uh, yeah, at least in my opinion, that's how I think it should be. But do you think? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Do you think it's uh, fine as is? Do you think uh, uh, it should be cheaper? I don't think it should be cheaper. If you made it any cheaper, then it would definitely be OP. 
Um, but as it is right now, I can I can kind of see why someone might think it's not OP, but I kind of I am personally leaning to it. It's a little bit OP. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have you know anything else you want to say, um, you know just put it down in the comment section below. I will uh, be sure to at least try and reply with something. If I don't reply to you, it's because I don't, can't think of anything to reply to you. If not, because I'm not ignoring you. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to join the Discord. The link down in the description. Have a good day and bye bye.